too. Ladies and gentlemen, something big is happening. The fact that the dinosaur deceptive corporate media tried to run the hoax in the last week that Ron Paul could not win has basically backfired on them. And now there are literally thousands of mainstream news articles where they're debating, could Ron Paul win? Why is the media ignoring him? Because it became so blatant that when he would win a poll, they would mention the second, third, and fourth place winners, but not him. Or when he came in second, they would mention first, third, fourth, and fifth, but not him. Uh, or when he would come in first in the New Hampshire straw poll, they ignored him. This has really woken people up. And they're very upset about the fact that the so-called media would try to deceive them like this. And Ron Paul has now come out swinging today. And he said, look, the, the mainstream media is trying to push me out. And the reason they're so scared is because Ron Paul is talking about the private Federal Reserve. And so the system is ignoring him while also trying to co-opt his movement with Michelle Bachman and now Rick Perry coming out and saying why the Federal Reserve might be downright treasonous. We know they're treacherous. How dare you be printing all this money? When Rick Perry, Michelle Bachman, all these people are bankrolled by the same big mega banks that bankrolled Barack Obama. So the fact is, Ron Paul, as the AP had to admit on Monday, is dominating the Republican race. He is shaping the entire debate. He totally took over uh, that debate last Thursday in Iowa. He had all the big standing ovations. Uh, he got more than half the votes total in the Fox News poll, so they just pulled the poll. He got more than half against all those other candidates. And so, of course, they know he's winning. They know his message is resonating with the people, so they are panicking. And they tried to run the hoax that he couldn't win. Now they've shifted, and I predicted this would happen Monday, to the attack. They're going to try the aqua Buddha, the kidnapping of women, uh, keeping you know uh, baby puppies in the basement. Maybe he's a vampire. Maybe he's got a tail. Uh, maybe he's got a meth lab. I mean, you're going to hear it all. Uh, he's not a doctor. They tried that with Dr. Rand Paul. I mean, they may claim he's not even human. I mean, they are going to pull out all the stops now because their first hoax of saying, you can't have him, didn't work. He is the only candidate in both parties that covers real issues and actually knows how to fix this country and get us back to the republic. And the fact that these mainstream media whores uh, will demonize him and attack him any way they can so energetically shows that they're trained lapdogs of the Foreign Federal Reserve and are scared to death uh, that the corrupt establishment, the oligarchy that funds them, might be on its way out. But regardless of what you crooks do to Ron Paul, regardless of how you cheat elections or spend things, this signifies that liberty is rising and that a huge awakening is happening, that Ron Paul is now the front runner any way you slice it. That's what scares the system. People know about the Federal Reserve, they know about the global government, they know about the mega corporations using government to shut down their competition and for corporate welfare, and time is running out for the globalist. That's why they're trying to convert us over to a police state. That's why they've got on the sides of buses now uh, TSA is here to defend freedom while they stick their hands down your pants. That's why there's all these sitcoms and dramas demonizing people that love liberty. Because we have a corrupt elite that stole America and has our stolen wealth, and they're trying to use that wealth now to protect their ill-gotten gains. But let me show you a few of these, vid uh, these uh, videos and articles. Uh, you know, here's a story out of the L.A. Times where uh, Ron Paul came out number one against Rick Perry and all others in GOP poll. And this has been going on the last few years. The system knows this. They know he's the front runner. Again, winning most polls. Um, look at this. Perry debuts at 18% in New Hampshire. Ron Paul just right behind him. Uh, Michelle Bachman behind Ron Paul. So there, a, a, a major, major contender. Uh, here's the London Telegraph. Why the American media hate and fear Ron Paul. And it breaks down the fact that he's legitimate and he's extremely popular. And he's actually against the establishment status quo, which is tyranny and out-of-control corruption. Here's another one. Are the media scared of Ron Paul, Christian Science Monitor? See, it's all coming out now. Ron Paul, media are frightened by us. That's the Wall Street Journal. And now he's got this new one-minute TV ad out 
uh, the man who can beat Obama, and by the way, all even the mainline polls for a year show that. He's the only guy that will not just beat Obama, but absolutely uh, annihilate him. Let's play a little bit of this ad right here. A story of failed policies, failed leadership, a story of smooth-talking politicians, games of he said, she said, rhetoric and division. One man has stood apart. And one man has stood apart. Truly, never compromising, never voting for tax increases, uh, never voting for pay raises, turning back part of his congressional uh, staff's funds, uh, always voting with the Constitution. Uh, I mean, there's no other politician like this. Rand is a close second, uh, but uh, this is about commitment and integrity. And you compare him to the other Republicans, I, I mean, the people that wrote Obamacare, Mitt Romney, who supports carbon taxes, Rick Perry forced inoculations of deadly experimental vaccines on Merck payroll publicly. Uh, Al Gore's former chief of staff. By the way, I was telling you that months ago, and people wouldn't look it up. You thought I was lying, even when I showed you mainstream news from years ago. Now, now that's a big issue. Bilderberg meetings. Michelle Bachman, IRS attack dog, taking people's houses. You know, she was not a plumber or a secretary at the IRS. These people have to be responded to. And in closing. They're not only attacking Ron Paul because the ignoring him failed and saying he's crazy, while at the same time having Rick Perry, Newt Gingrich, and Michelle Bachman come out and say, let's get rid of the Federal Reserve. Again, think about this. And notice the system's not really attacking them for saying that. I mean, Obama is a little bit to kind of elevate Perry. Uh, and, and, and by the way, if Ron Paul wins the nomination, they're going to send in as a third party um, Donald Trump to try to draw away his votes. And, and Donald Trump's already been rewarded by Obama with his casinos in Chicago uh, after he um, tried to discredit the whole birther situation. So you're going to see a lot of craziness go on, but at the end of the day, the clock is ticking, the, the scammers' time is running out, the people are now aware of the scam, and all their different uh, chicanery and, and, and dirty tricks may buy them a little time, but in the end, we know why Blackwater and Halliburton and the Bushes and the globalists are all buying houses in Paraguay and Dubai uh, where there's not extradition because you realize that the world sees you for the criminals you are. So understand that Rothschilds, Rockefellers and others, you're not going to get your world government. We're going to expose your carbon tax fraud, all of it. We're going to expose your collectivist corporate model and we're going to defeat you. And Ron Paul rising is just one illustration of that. All right, I'm Alex Jones reporting for InfoWars.com.